Welcome everyone to the 16th annual The Christmas Story Art Exhibition and Competition here in 2021. I would like to begin on behalf of the judges, Jody Mikalev, Specialist in Religious Education Primary from Sydney Catholic Schools, to Dr Kate Winchester, Senior Lecturer in Education, the University of Notre Dame, Australia, to Amanda McPaul, Principal of Heart of the Mountains Art Studio, and myself, would want to acknowledge the teachers who, despite lockdown, despite remote learning, despite constant change in the return to face-to-face -to -face teaching, still were able to provide this valuable artistic and spiritual opportunity for our students. Thank you to all. And now on this second Sunday of Advent, I invite Jody to lead us in prayer. Thank you, John. I would also like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the commitment and effort of our classroom teachers who enabled the Christmas project to continue this year. Let us place ourselves in the presence of God and with one another. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All people shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went through the whole Jordan district proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the sayings of the prophet Isaiah, a voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley will be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Winding ways will be straightened and rough roads made smooth. And all mankind shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus, with great joy we celebrate your guiding light and saving love. In your name we pray. I'd like to acknowledge the Year 5 and 6 students for their work. A very interesting challenge working with digital images for our judging process. Thank you for those who send in quality images. Every student who receives a highly commended or other award will receive a beautiful book thanks to Pauline Book and Media Centre. And quality professional artist materials, $400 worth for first prize, $250 for second prize and $100 worth of quality materials for third prize. Let us begin with the highly commended prizes for year five. First of all, to Tate Bunting from St. Joseph's Molong, Blinded by the Light. Highly commended to Alessandra Colson from St. Ambrose Concord West for The Golden Angel, 
a messenger of God. To Chloe Chewy, Year 5, Our Lady of the Assumption, North Strathfield, for her beautiful work, The Visit of the Angels. To Jaden Latouf, St. John Vianney, Greenacre, for Do Not Be Afraid. To John Nguyen, Sacred Heart Primary, Villawood, for Hail the King is Born. To Olivia Staples, St. Pius Unandera, Whispers on the Way. Highly commended to Isabella White, St. Joseph Molong, Let Light Lead the Way. Congratulations to all our highly commended Year 5 students. Now we'd like to present the highly commended prizes for Year 6. To Nicholas Augustine, St. Thomas More, Roos, for Bold Men. To Alfio Cavalieri, St. Michael's Meadowbank, for We Adore Him. To Gloria Deo, Christ the King, Bass Hill, for Flee the Stable. To Chelsea, from St. Therese Catholic Primary School, Sadlia, for her work, Purette. To Daniel Garavaglia, St. Luke's Reesby, for A Moonlight Journey. To Rachel Horan, Holy Innocence Croydon, for Here I Am, Lord. To Annie Lee, Our Lady of the Assumption, North Strathfield, for her beautiful work, The Birth of the King. Highly commended also to Faith Minuto, St. Clair's Norellan Vale, for Inviting Light. To Tina Nguyen, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Mount Pritchard, for Journey to the Stars. To Ruby Reed, St. Joseph's Molong, for Mary's Blessing. To Christina Star Maria, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Mount Pritchard, for Spirit Lane. The number of highly commended awards in year six shows you how impressed the judges were this year. We've never had so many. Congratulations to all our highly commended year six students. And now to the third prize awards for year five and six. Our year five award, third prize, goes to Serena El Drubi, St. John Vianney Greenacre for The Visit of the Magi. And our Year 6 third prize winner is Nereo Santos, St. Francis Catholic College, Edmondson Park, for Mary's Fiat. Congratulations to our third prize winners. And now as we're moving up the awards here, to second prize awards for Year 5 and 6. Year 5 second prize award is to Rosalia Bombara, St. Joseph's Enfield for the internal bond of love. And year six, second prize award to Layla Van Acker, St. Joseph's Bulli for a blessed beginning. Congratulations to our second prize winners. Now to our first prize awards for year five and year six. First prize, Year 5, is awarded to Lara Elfin Aiding from St. John's Auburn, The Glory Almighty. First prize, Year 6, is awarded to Jeremy Gonayon from St. Mark's, Dremoyne, 
the embrace. Congratulations to our first prize winners. Now to the School Club Encouragement Award. This award goes to Chloe Chu from Year 5, Our Lady of the Assumption, North Strathfield, for the visit of the angels. Congratulations, Chloe. Now to our Year 5 and 6 Journey Awards. For Year 5, Madeline Gaydon from St. Michael's, Dunadu, for Joseph's Journey. In Year 6, awarded to Emma Iskra, Holy Innocence Croydon, for we come to worship him. Congratulations to our Journey Award winners. Now to the Year 5 and 6 Artistic Achievement Trophy and Awards. In Year 5, Sarah Poos, St. Clair's Norellan Vale for the first to receive the message. In year six, Audrey McKee, St. Michael's Thoreau, for follow your faith. Congratulations to our Artistic Achievement Trophy and Award winners. Now to the Spirit of Christmas Trophy and Award. This award is given to Ming Dang from Year 6 at St. Teresa's Lakemba for I am the Lord's servant. Congratulations, Ming. And now for the Notre Dame Trophy and Award, which this year was chosen by Dr. Kate Winchester from the University of Notre Dame, Australia. And Kate says, I had the very difficult role of selecting a winner for the Notre Dame Trophy and Award. We congratulate Priyashna Maharaj from Year 6 at St Thomas More Catholic Parish Primary School, Roos, for her powerful and skillful artwork, Every Woman, and for winning the Notre Dame Trophy and Award this year. Priyashna's artwork depicts Mary at the time of the Annunciation and encapsulates Mary's uncertainty, but ultimate faith and trust in her destiny. Priyashna beautifully summarizes the essence of her artwork. Mary's youth and humility is a symbol for every girl to have quiet confidence in themselves, that they are capable of anything in life. My paint strokes Recreate Mary, however, her real beauty lies within, just as it does in every young woman. Thank you, Priyashna. It's my pleasure to announce this year's Executive Director's Award for the Christmas Story Art Exhibition and Competition, now in its 16th year. Before I make the announcement, I'd like to acknowledge the ongoing encouragement for the participation of students from Mr Peter Hill, Director of Schools in the Wollongong Diocese, and Mrs Christina Trimble, the Executive Director of Schools in the Bathurst Diocese. I also thank them both for their generous contribution of the Spirit of Christmas and Artistic Achievement trophies and awards. My appreciation is also extended to the University of Notre Dame, represented by Senior Lecturer Dr Kate Winchester, who was one of our judges this year, and also for the generous contribution of the Notre Dame Trophy and Award. The Executive Director's Award announcement will be followed up by the Archbishop's Choice Trophy, and I personally thank Archbishop Anthony Fisher for his ongoing engagement in this joyous celebration of artistic talent and scriptural reflection from our students. The work I've chosen is inspired by the Annunciation and the extraordinary and eternal hope the Annunciation brings to our lives in the 21st century. 
The winner of the 2021 Executive Director's Award is Chelsea Dominguez for her beautiful charcoal drawing, Purité. Here's what Chelsea had to say about her artwork. The inspiration for my artwork is based on the scripture of the Annunciation. The name for my artwork is Purité, the French word meaning pure. As such, the doves in my sketch represent purity, which is a symbol in the Annunciation. Doves also symbolise new beginnings and prosperity in my artwork and display the beginning of Jesus' life and the prosperity to follow from his birth. My creation is drawn with charcoal, which creates a rich illusion of highlights and shadows, therefore creating a lifelike appearance in the artwork. This allows the audience to relate to the artwork and see themselves in the drawing. This is important because the Annunciation is the foundation of our Catholic faith and I want others to share in the faith with me. So congratulations Chelsea on a wonderful achievement that brings us truly closer to God. My final thank you is to Jody McAuliffe and John Sharadia for their long-term leadership in facilitating this project each year. I encourage you all to buy the Catholic Weekly and take time to read and view the excellent work created by the students across the diocese. God bless. Congratulations, Chelsea. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the Archbishop's Choice Trophy and Award. Or should I say awards, because this year the Most Reverend Anthony Fisher, Archbishop of Sydney, has chosen two. And the first of the Archbishop's Choice Trophy and Awards goes to Max Bowman, Year 6, St. Joseph's Molong, for his beautiful work, Devotion, Beauty and Faith. And the second trophy and award goes to Mila Hinves, Year 5, St. Therese Deniston, for A Holy Wreath. Congratulations to both Max and Miller. Please remember that on Sunday, the 12th of December, the Christmas Story Art Exhibition booklets will be contained in the Catholic Weekly. You may want to put in your orders early. It was in the letter that was sent to you, inviting you to the, the launch. Also, that on Monday, the 6th of December, the Christmas Story Virtual Art Exhibition will be live and you can enjoy all the artworks and the reflections from the students in that website. So on behalf of Jody Mikalev and myself at this launch today, we would like to congratulate you all on the sophisticated and deeply spiritual work that we share in this competition. Merry Christmas to all. Have a wonderful holiday.